Hello. It's good to see you. Today I uh, have something that I have to tell you and, and I don't want you to be upset because this is really for the best for me. Um, I have been going through some stuff. I haven't talked about it at all because, you know, you come here to relax. You don't come here to hear my problems. So, I mean, if I sit here and complain about my problems, how relaxing is that? It's not. But I have reached a point where I really, I, I need to talk to you about it because there are going to be some changes coming, like, immediately starting today. Um, okay, where, where do I begin? I had this all planned out. I knew how I was going to say it. And now I've, it's all muddled up in my mind. But, um, all right. Now, you remember I bought a mall three years ago. It was three years ago. I can't believe how time has just flown by. Well, I've been having some issues with that. Um, things are not quite going the way I'd hoped. And I've been under a lot of stress, you know, with my new job, which I never told you what my job was. I know, I'm sorry. I've been so secretive. I shouldn't. I, I've been hiding things from you, and I apologize for that. But I, I've been under a tremendous amount of strain for the last few months. And one good thing that's come out of all this strain is that I have seen the new direction that I want my life to take going forward starting today. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it so you will understand what is happening. So if you come here later and you're watching videos like, what is this? Just so you'll know what to expect going forward. And, and you know, if it doesn't work for you, that's okay. Um, I just wanted to let you know about it. So, I mean, let me just hang on, hang on a minute. If you're not familiar with my mall, um, I went by there the other day and I just looked around. I'm having some appraisals done and I've had some people in and out and I just m made a little bit of video while I was there. Um, let me just show you what I've been dealing with. So here's my mall. I don't know if y'all know this. I did buy this mall. This is the Penrose Mall in Reedsville, North Carolina. Um, yeah, we're not doing too much business as you can see. It's not, uh, it's not really working out the way I had hoped. See, this was supposed to be my ASMR mall. Um, I put all of my money into it. I, I cashed out my retirement, maxed out all my credit cards. And um, so, the only problem with that, and I didn't really think about it, but I didn't have a lot of money left over to uh, to re redo the inside like needed to be done, and I couldn't find any investors. I don't know why they think this place is such a bad investment, but anyway, the okay, so what happened was the cattle from my farm came in, and they took over, and there were like just herds of cows in here and I decided just to leave them because I mean you know they got to hang out somewhere at least here they're well they're sort of out of the rain you can see that the outside is um well it hasn't changed a whole lot I did come out here and clean up though we had we had cow patty bingo out here several weekends in the parking lot and at least the mail still comes I mean that's good but uh, yeah I came out here and did some cleaning up but I'm starting to get a little bit discouraged. I can't even get the newspaper, the free newspaper people to come. Well, it looks like Auto Solutions did. But the, the yeah, the real estate people and all them, they've even just given up on this place. It's, it's just, it makes me sad. I don't know. I don't know why people don't believe in this. But you can see why this would be so great for ASMR. But, I mean, don't look at the ceiling or the buckets that catch the rain. But this would have been so great. So, I... It just, it makes me sad. I don't know. I got some workers down there. They're trying to help with some of the, the leaks and stuff. But it's about all I can afford to do. Still got my horses. Got my little horse there. Got my four-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. We still got our Christmas decorations up because 
I haven't gotten the guy to come back to take them down and I can't reach them because my ladder's busted. Got our floor cleaner over there. We do still have the florist in here. They got all their pretty Valentine's Day stuff and over here's the actual shop. That sets the display. That pretty Valentine's Day stuff. Yeah. That was the kid zone, but it's now part of the florist too. But we do have space for rent, but nobody's interested. I thought maybe if I put some plants up, nobody would notice the uh, the ceiling situation. Yeah. But it's very quiet. We did turn the music off. Um, Hibbit Sports is still gone. I tried to get them to come back. They weren't interested. So we have a bit of a, a problematic situation. Um, but I just ran out of money. I mean, I, you know, what can I do? I'm just one person. Got my picture up there. It's cowboys. You know, I felt like a cowboy. I had all my cows in here. And, and it was great, but then they took over, so, but, so we had to, um, we had, we had to do something. I mean, what can I do? So I had to, I had to kind of think out of the box a little bit. Thinking outside the box is my thing. I mean, that's the way I've lived my whole life. I have totally remade myself several times in my adult years. So here's what I was thinking. Now, I never really told you what my job was. Um, I work in the document management side of a company that provides materials for rodeo riders, like bull riders, and they also outfit the rodeo clowns. So that's what I've been doing, and when I said I was doing something totally different, you probably didn't expect that, but that's what I've been doing since last May, and I'm still doing it, love it, and I've gotten to know some really fascinating people. And I was a perfect person for this job because, you know, I have previous experience with bull riding. I don't know if you know that. I do. I have done some bull riding in my past. Um, I was really great at it. I only fell off a few times. Yeah, so I, I, I fit in just perfectly with this group, and it's been a fantastic experience doing this. When I started thinking about all the stress I've been under, I started thinking, you know, you need to you need to change some things. You do. You've been doing this ASMR stuff now for going on nine years. Can you believe that? Nine years. And it's the same old stuff all the time. You know, whisper this, tap on that, you know, do this and that. And I'm, I have made over 3,700 videos for YouTube. Can you believe it? over 3,700 out there that you can watch. They're all there, and they are all just basically the same. So it's definitely time for something new, like a revamp. So I have made a bold decision, okay? Just me. I either sink or swim here. It's all on me. Um, going forward, I am going to delve into a totally untapped market for ASMR. This is a group that nobody thinks about. And it's a shame that we've gotten this far in ASMR, in the ASMR community here and elsewhere, and we have not done this. What about the rodeo clowns? What about it? Does anybody think about them? Do you have any idea how stressful their jobs are? I've gotten to know a few of them personally. Well, mostly over the phone and Zoom calls and stuff like that. Because we work with rodeos all over the country. And I've gotten to know some of these people. Do you have any idea how stressful it is to be a rodeo clown? I mean, forget the bull rider. I mean, they're fine. But, you know, it's the rodeo clown who has the most dangerous job. And what if they can't sleep at night? What if, they're, what if their reactions are delayed because they're just so dang tired? It's not right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna write this wrong. We're gonna start making videos, ASMR videos, directed solely to rodeo clowns. Cause it's time. I don't know, brother. There's somebody here talking about a rodeo bull rider. What is it? A bull rider. I, mother, I don't know. I'm trying to work. Okay. I'll tell you about it when I get home. Well, if you're home, I'll tell you about it.
All right, bye. Ma'am, I don't know what you're talking about, a bull rider. What kind of ASMR does a bull rider care about? Hello. It's good to... I'm just kidding. We're not going to have time for this anymore. Rodeo stars don't give a shit about groceries. Shopping time. One of the best things about this, you know, doing ASMR for rodeo clowns is the shopping you get to do. I get to buy stuff. And today, I just got this in the mail. This is from the Colorado Saddlery Company. So I can learn how to use a lasso and I can learn how to rope cattle. Like if I ever had to do that, you know, if I really want to get into the mind of a radio clown, I have to know how to do this stuff, which is between you and me. I found out that this stuff is really expensive. So this is actually the kids set, but look, I get, I get my own cow's head. I get some gloves and I get a lasso. Look at this. So we're going to take this out of the bag and set it up. And I'm going to see if I know how to catch a cow. <laughs> so we have the set here. We have the roping cow, but there's something in it and I can't figure out how to get it out. And I got my lasso right here and my kid gloves. Look, I have webbed fingers. So here we have the little roping cow. It's quite spiffy. Now, I have never used a lasso before, to be fair. I really didn't know how to, um, <laughs> they make it look so easy on TV, like, you know? And when I, and when I see them do it, it looks so simple. It's not, it's hard. <laughs> I think I was doing the wrist action wrong. I thought if I made it bigger, you know, maybe that would do it. And Boop was there, my cat Boop is there to help. She's so helpful. Okay, so I'm over here next to the, let's see if we can get a cow. Let's see if we can rope us a, a cow. Well, first it, you have to untangle it. Boop is helping me untangle it. <laughs> She's so good. She's so helpful. I just basically ended up swatting it a few times. Boop was having more luck with the rope than I was. I'm still trying. I thought maybe if I got a little closer, it might help. It didn't really seem to matter how close I was to it, but I can catch her. Look, I can catch her really easily. She really liked the texture of that rope. She thought it was great. I think she was happier with it than I was. Um, maybe I better just stick to making relaxing videos for rodeo clowns. And then, but look, I could successfully catch Boop. I was very, I was very good at catching her with the lasso. I could catch her over and over again. It was very easy. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just stick to making the, uh, the relaxation videos for the clowns instead of trying to do what they do. Well, okay, so maybe my first attempt to you know lasso a bull didn't go so well but i think with practice i could get better you know it's okay i'm really i'm really all i'm trying to do with this exercise i'm really just trying to get into the mindset of the rodeo clown and what they may have to do and i just imagine they do a lot of roping and you know bull stuff so i'm just trying to get into that mindset you know, just a little bit. I just want to understand where they're coming from, you know. And so how do you know how to make ASMR for rodeo clowns? I've been given a lot of thought. One thing you can do is you can look at their outfits. If you get an outfit like this, it comes in the most deliciously crinkly package it does so I have my costume if you really want to get into the mindset of a rodeo clown I think you, you might not hurt to dress up as one so this is this is my costume 
you can see it has a pulls out his butt. Okay, so what does this costume come with? It comes with a hat, three bandanas, you got two here, one here, a shirt with attached sleeves, suspenders, pants, and shoe boot tops. So it's not actually boots. It's kind of like they just sit on the top of your shoes like that. But it doesn't come with the little striped tights. And wouldn't it be cute if we had the makeup and the wig, like a clown wig of some sort? Like say I'm getting chased by a bull and my hat flies off. I want to have on a wig because otherwise it just looks stupid. <laughs> So here we are at Party City because that's where you find all the cool stuff for rodeo clowns. First thing I found was the wig. Look at this thing. Oh my God. It's so perfect. Look how colorful it is. You have to shake it. And then we move on to the makeup, which is actually right next to the wigs. We have this deluxe kit for 13, but I think this one will be fine here. It's just a multicolor makeup kit. This deluxe one comes with blood, but hopefully there won't be a lot of blood, although if the, the bull gets its way, there might be. Multicolor makeup kit. Let's get that. And then I look for striped socks in the multicolored section at Party City. I found, let's see, what do we have? Um, we have these socks here. I think that will work. They're very cute. So we did our little bit of shopping and I got this clown wig that I showed you. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What does this look like? So you bring it out of the box and it's so curly. Oh my God, look at it. Ooh wee. It's like a very unfortunate perm I had in the ninth grade. <laughs> And I did get the makeup kit. See, I can still do little makeup videos. I'll just be doing it with clown makeup. That's awesome. And I could not find red and white striped tights, but I did find some little socks, some little knee-high socks with white stripes. So, I mean, I think that's good enough. You know, I, I hope that will work. I'm just trying to get into the mindset of the rodeo clown. It's very important. And while I was in there, I got to thinking, you know what else would be really nice? You know what I bet rodeo clowns would like for ASMR? I think they would like a little horn, you know, like, hee hee, hee hee, That could work. So now we're ready to do some clown makeup. I'm just gonna do something really simple because basically my makeup looks like clown makeup every day. And I don't have the nose, so it's not going to look entirely right, but that's okay. We're going to just put on a little bit of clown makeup. See, when you're doing videos for rodeo clowns, you can actually, um, you could still do tutorials. I was just thinking you could totally still do them. You just, your makeup just changes a little bit, right? So we have this multicolor makeup kit. Don't be expecting anything like this because, no, I'm not. I suck at this. I don't know if y'all know that. Okay, we have it here. We are going to go in with what? We are going to put on some of this white right here. I think I'm supposed to put some... I, I don't know. I'm going to do like some... I'm looking behind you because I have a mirror. I'm going to do like the Charlie Brown parentheses over here and fill it in. We just have this little applicator, so you just come in here and smush it like that. Oh, it's going to come all the way down to here. Look at this. It's like contouring, but stupid. This makeup is not great. I don't know if it's the makeup or the applicator. You know, I got to thinking about something while I was out there trying to lasso that, that bull, that bull's head. I was thinking, when you're a bull, when you're a rodeo clown, you really have to be on your toes. Like, you can't, you can't relax a whole lot. I mean, I guess it's okay to relax sometimes, 
but you don't want to get too relaxed, you know what I mean? Because if what, what would happen if you were out there with that bull and it gets away from the, the bull rider, right? And, it, and that's when it's your job. That's when you're, you you got to do your thing, right? And your job is to distract that bull until the bull rider can get out. You know, that's your job. And that's why it's so dangerous. And I'm talking to these guys that are rodeo clowns. And there are some women who are rodeo clowns as well. And they told me that, you know, it's, it can be very scary. You have to have top, it's like the best reflexes. You have to be ready just for anything. So, like, I'm just wondering with the ASMR for bull ride for rodeo clowns, when you do ASMR for them, I just wonder if it's a good idea to, to get them so relaxed. Like, maybe every now and then you just want to go, bleh, you know. I mean, what if you did that? Just, bleh. I don't know, like have an air horn handy and just, burr, you know. They might thank me for that. Or it might traumatize them one or the other. I'm not entirely sure. All right, so now we have basically the shape of a thyroid on my face. We're going to just go ahead and just go into the red. What will happen if I, I, I probably can't hit it with that. Let's uh, try the paintbrush. Yeah. Now, it looks like the red on this clown, it's just here. It's like here, like that. Oh, my God, I look like the damn joker. Um, there. So, bleh! You know, you have to do that every now and then. You don't want them to go to sleep and sleep too heavily. Shoot. And then it kind of comes down like that, kind of like smushes out a little bit. We could go to Tractor Supply and organize ropes and whatnot. I'm very excited. Okay, so we got that. Then we have to go into the black here and we have to outline this in black. Like, how does that work? Like that? So you just kind of, oh. Like that. Hmm. Oops. Oh, and then he has black on his eyes. Oh, would you like this? <laughs> mm. for clown makeup. How'd I do? Minus the nose. Okay, I am now ready to put on the wig. Now let's see. I was looking at the hat and there may be a little bit of a problem. I think the hat, if you look at it, it kind of reminds me of Woody's hat from Toy Story set for the flower. Because it has this cow print little thing on it, you know? It looks like a bunny rabbit right there. <laughs> so, um, but see, the opening is very small. Now, if I, oh Lord, it barely fits my big old head even without the wig. So, I'm thinking if I want to try to, if I want to do the wig, I don't think this thing's going to fit. Okay, I'll start with the wig cap. You've seen this a bunch of times. Well, you, this has been in videos you've watched many times. You just never saw all this part of it. This is Carl's wig cap. And when, when you're watching, I can't do it. Because I don't know how to do it with people looking at me. Okay. So, 
we have our wig, our clown wig here. It's in this little net, hair net thing. I'll take that off. Like that, and it's stuck on the thing here, there. And you can use these little straps to adjust it. See, we could do we could do videos about that. We could talk about wigs. We could talk about shoes, funny shoes. Do you know rodeo clowns don't wear those? Do you know why? Because they can't run very fast in those shoes, and you got to be able to move really fast when you're a rodeo clown. If you think about it, have you ever seen a bull up close? Well, thanks to my new job, I have. Seeing a bull up close is freaking terrifying because they're huge. Do you know what an angry bull can do to you? I don't even want to think about it. Okay. So here we have it. Um, I feel like I kind of look like Lucille Ball. These came undone or I didn't do them right. That's okay. See, it matches my shirt kind of. <laughs> there we go. Now let's let's test the hat. Let's see what we can do with this hat right here. Okay. Well, I could just kind of set it on top, but again, if I get chased by a bull, this is gonna be the first thing to go. <laughs> Alright, so I got my I got my little costume on and I want to show you how it looks. So here we have the costume. <laughs> The back of it is very interesting. It is very big. <laughs> I kind of feel like Lucille Ball in this. It kind of gives me Lucille Ball vibes with the little hat and the hair. And I don't know. It just, and the little, I'll check out the little boot tops. I love it. So it's actually very roomy, very comfortable. And you can see the big old pants here with the bandanas. Very festive. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you wish me the best in everything that I plan to do in the future. And I understand that you're probably not going to be a part of it anymore because this is very specific ASMR. Boo! And it's probably not for you, but um, thank you for being here all these years. Hopefully I have enough videos out there for you to tide you over. Um, I'm not going to be doing any more of those. So thank you so much for all your love and support and your kind words. I appreciate every bit of it, and I hope you wish me the very best going forward with my Rodeo Clown ASMR. I'm really looking forward to getting started, and I, that's it, I guess. But thank you so much for being here all these years, and happy trails! <laughs>